Hi there everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel, Trinergy Awakens Naturally. Honda and I are on our way home, <laughs> it's time for car talk again. Um, things are busy when I'm in the car and unfortunately Hondo just decided to stand up and <laughs> let me know that he really doesn't like the car experience. But anyway, he's going to have to just deal with it and so am I. So um, we just are coming home from a hike today and I wanted to expand on something that I said the other day um, and I'll give you the brief of that. The, the other day I was in a, a, a park. Um, here in Colorado where I live, where there's huge mountains, um, mountain energy and huge rock formations. There's a lot of very indigenous culture. There's a lot of energy input there. And I had this amazing experience with um, peaks that, you know, I was like, wow, these are ancestors and they're, they're downloading here. Um, and I think I'm gonna be downloading for a while. And it is, it still continues to come in. Um, but this is another layer of that concept that it's similar to downloading a program on our phone or our computer that, you know, it might take an hour, it might take, you know, a year, you know, depends on how big that download is, how big is the data package, and so another part of it kind of filtered in today as he and I were hiking, um, and forgive me, I'm, I'm all disheveled looking, I fell in the mud, I, we're all covered with mud, <laughs> we had a great time, we've had lots of snow on the ground, and it's been nice and warm, you know, it's almost 70 degrees today, so. Um, everything's mushy and squishy and muddy, but um, I, I cleaned up as best as I could for being in my car. So um, anyway, while we were out hiking, um, what I got was that the ancestors and those peaks, you know, the, the mountain peaks that I was looking at and listening to this music the other day and just, you know, having this amazing experience of going, wow, you know, there's a lot coming in here, you know, you're going to let me know about this, what this all is and what it means, yes, of course. Um, well, they did. Another layer of it, as I said, came in that the ancestors, the literal ancestors, the people who were um, earthwalkers that actually had been here on earth, they were, um, I hesitate to say the word possessing, like living vicariously, that, that's the word we'll use because possessing, yeah, that has a terrible connotation to it. They, um, they kind of were living vicariously through my eyes and that that's one of the ways that they can help to um, deliver gifts is by kind of cohabiting with me co cohabitating with me for a few minutes in my energy that they can see through my eyes and they can live vicariously with me and see what I see and it benefits both of us because it gives them the opportunity to see how their energy can most uh, effectively and efficiently work with me where I am and what I'm actually seeing, how I'm perceiving it, and how I take that as an individual because I'm a different individual than they are and I have a different personality and it's a totally different time than they when they lived. And so when I can allow those, um, those expressions of spirit, expressions of energies to come through me and really channel that really well when it has a personality of its own attached to it or or an energetic field that you know um, has a more known feel to it um, and gives them an opportunity to align me more directly with the higher energies and what's going to be best serving to bring healing um, to excuse me to bring healing to any situation that I'm in and that's how I get the gifts of whatever their gifts were um, a lot of those um, ancestors have you know energy healing gifts because that's what I do um, and divining gifts they're they're um, all different kinds of things that have come over the last few years especially but um, they each have very specific frequency and they each have a different way that they can work with their energy and that's part of being open to that today was that that, oh, it's not just ancestors that used to wear skin. It isn't that. It's also working with uh, minerals and rocks. You know, today, whenever we were out hiking, we went to a place that, you know, at the last minute, I shifted and took a right instead of taking a left. You know, whoopsie, sorry, um, to go where I thought I was going. Um, and it was to go and 
kind of get that same experience that I had the other day except in a brand new way with um, different rock formations and it was literally working with the vibrations of the minerals and rocks themselves you know the trees and the animals um, there were birds you know all kinds of stuff because today was more about um, not so much healing as it was protection um, which made sense you know that the healing elements and those you know energetic elements that used to wear skin and can and see through me and live vicariously through me um, they understand what the dangers of being a human being are they understand what the um, costs of playing the the matrix are and they understand how it is to be a human being and so um, they're better serving me by helping me to do that better right whereas minerals rocks and you know indigenous land things they can really serve better to be um, quite protective of me they can help to really um, bring in an element of strength to excuse me my energetic body in a very different way that is very protective and leaves me feeling um, very much like I'm barricaded from ugly stuff making its way in and there's just a lot of very chaotic and sporadic energy right now a lot of people are throwing off sorry <laughs> a lot of people are throwing off you know some very wild energy they're terrified they're running around you know just out of control we've got um, a solar eclipse coming soon we've got um, a full moon coming soon and we've got mercury retrograde we're at solar maximum almost I mean we've got a lot of things happening energetically on the planet it. And so every time, you know, that I get some sort of new data package from Divine, um, that's one of the first questions I ask is, what is this for? You know, how am I using this? What is this for? To give me some sense of organization about what I'm doing. And frequently it is um, either for healing myself or and or others or the land or whatever, healing. Um, or it's uh, security, you know, to make sure that we're doing things to keep safe, to keep the energetic space very protected. That's, um, wow, that's a hawk. That's the second or third hawk I've seen today. Thank you very much. Um, and a falcon the other day um, that was just screeching and, oh, I have never seen a falcon here. So um, a lot of things, everything's speaking. Everything is speaking all the time. Um, it's a matter of how can we best get in line with it and what is it that we want to be tuning into and hearing. And today it was about hearing, you know, the, the minerals and hearing the birds, you know, and different energy source from a completely different place that at the last minute, you know, I thought I was going there and yeah, turn here and go there instead. Um, and it actually answered those questions that I had about you know what is it the ancestors were giving to me and it's giving the gift of you know everything that they could see plus helping me to take what they could see live vicariously and use those energetic tools and those healing tools and those protection tools and whatever other tools there are you know um, prophecy, uh, you know, anything, whatever they are that they're gifting or sharing temporarily with me, because I don't always get to keep everything that I work with, you know, um, energetically in a space. Sometimes that's just here for you to do this right now, and then, you know, you won't need it anymore because it's just for this right here, you know, um, this tool for this place, and you leave that tool there, um, but it's in, it's very much indigenous with the land itself. It's, it's one and the same sometimes, um, and you know would need to remain but um anyway when they're when they're giving those gifts or when they're sharing those gifts um they're not always related to a human face um they're not always related to energy that has ever lived as a human being um but yet is working symbiotically with earth um and the energy sometimes they're higher dimensional beings that I, you know i don't know much about them i just know that that's not identifying as anything earth-based um earth-based as in originally earth-based or ever earth-based it's from a little further out you know because it's more technical um it tends to be in my understanding as i was working with that energy from the other day that things from you know higher dimensional beings um are going to appear at least as i understand that so far they're going to appear in ways that that bring more of the technical or technology aspect um to earth because the indigenous knowledge of earth um, was already very wise and very technically technologically advanced even more so than we are now so it's not a slam on our indigenous cultures or the indigenous knowledge or arcane knowledge or gnostic gnostics or you know anything um before um it's just that 
that more higher dimensional stuff seems to be, you know, very closely related with getting the technology and marrying up with the, um, the indigenous knowledge that's here that's hooked in with human beings and you know older life forms on this planet whatever their source is you know however old it is that's very much intelligent and knows how to work with the energies that are here as it's transforming and those energies are moving up in the frequency um, because all of Earth's frequency is moving up every part of the system you know if the whole system is changing then every subset and subset of that every subset of that every single piece and part is going to need to be going through these upgrades and so at different levels of that you know it would be um, sort of like taking a, a, a hammer to something that you just needed to tap with your finger finger um, so those higher frequencies may be something that would blow out you know lower frequency stuff and that's not to say that you know like the rocks and things tend to be um, denser they're still high vibrational compared to me as a human being they're quite high vibrational but it would be a little bit easier to move that um, energy through them to kind of use it as a filter or to inform that energy so that it's more readily receivable or receptive readily usable for humans to receive um, because too much vibration too high a vibration can really fry our systems it can cause all kinds of psychiatric problems all kinds of seizure issues all kinds of you know body issues because we just aren't quite ready to um, assimilate and integrate those energies just yet and so part of those um, downloads working with the mountains today and the the minerals and the rocks today was about we need to have you know just kind of a filtered way that we can bring this high vibrational energy in but in a way that your body isn't going to be completely shocked rocked and you know ready to die um, or fry out or it won't blow your mind so much that you can't use this information it doesn't help a bit you know if it's too off the wall that I can't even use it because I'm busy going I'm pretty sure that was a psychotic episode you know that kind of stuff and so um, that download from the other day with those ancestors are gifting you stuff they're being able to work with their own lineage too um, in the skinless realms you know with human beings that actually lived here that were treated very badly you know on our planet that that particular group of, of energies that I was working with that as we're working together vicariously I'm getting the gift of seeing from their perspective and they're getting to see from my perspective you know some of them had shortened lives that you know they weren't gonna see past their 10th birthday or whatever it was and so oftentimes I feel like I have you know collectives joining me as I walk you know and hike and spend time you know out here um, and in other places too but particularly in the mountains you know because that's just where I do you know the, the best work that's where it seems to be that I do the best um, energy work um, and feel the best so that's where I go and that's what I do but it's almost as if you know we get to to be a human again for a little while and and heal through that experience of trauma drama and you know yucky stuff that happened to us as a collective and you get to um, get the gifts that we're giving you as well as there are times whenever you know I see the perspective of somebody and it's just you know like seeing through their eyes of what this was 200 years ago 300 years ago however many it is you know I don't ask a lot of questions I just know that this isn't me seeing what's really here right now and I'm gonna just go with it and then it goes into a lucid dreaming state but you know it's just it's so beautiful because it's a very um, symbiotic relationship that is very kind and loving and by nature of the fact that it's a symbiotic relationship it's it's helping both there's nothing parasitic about it it's helping both and it serves both um, and it gives them the opportunity to see life you know that's not tragic um, some of them and it gets me the opportunity to see um, life that was tragic sometimes and to swap that and to really help both sides of that where the energy is dense or locked up or you know congested in some way it really helps to free up those channels of information and so the other day it was through mountain peaks that were representative of tribes you know and people um, and today it was about working with the minerals and the rocks and birds you know on different different venues some some protection stuff today more so um, but still all of it's vital vitally alive and um, if we really believe that we have a, a higher 
creator, a higher source, a universal love, etc. It really helps me anyway that if I say that I believe that and I'm relying on guides and you know my spirit team and you know things to be speaking to me then there's nothing that is an impossibility and how is it best going to serve me to understand this and the way that's worked well for me is to have my spirit team find ways that we can explain this to you in a way that will make sense to you it might not make sense to anybody else you know at all however if it's making sense and it's bringing you a sense of comfort and it can allow you to let all the barriers down of the monkey mind then you get the download much more easily and then that download that's a huge data package doesn't take the next three years to download it might just only take the next three days or it might take you know a fraction of the time by letting go of the monkey mind and that's probably the biggest part of this whole thing for me in this transition has been let go of the idea that something is impossible or that that's just stupid. When I hear myself starting to go down that road, I go, oh, that's exactly where I need to stop and take a look at that and see, you know, what is the impossibility of that and question it, you know, because what, what harm does it cost me to say, is this rock really speaking to me? And I've gotten so much information, really have, you know, um, that's valuable to me. And it doesn't matter if it's valuable to anybody else, you know, if it is great and it doesn't matter matter ultimately if it is or isn't because it's helping me it's helping me to grow it's helping me to heal and it's helping me to feel much better and to offer myself to humanity and the natural world and you know the 3d matrix you know in a way that I'm not plugged into the matrix and just a, a mean nasty person that can't cope you know so even if it's a weird you know um a weirdness that people can't explain or it seems like yeah that woman's crazy um well then we're gonna have to go with the dichotomy of a crazy woman who lives independently functions you know walks talks eats breathes feeds herself you know and drives and you know manages money and animals and I uh, you know I okay then I'll live with that dichotomy and let that be somebody else's but when it's coming up in me oh yeah we need to take care of that immediately Kate because it's really a matter of let that barrier down because the quicker that I can let the barrier go, the quicker I can receive the knowledge that's trying to come to me. And I've just found that that's a, a sweeter way to be and it's a sweeter way to receive the information, you know, um, that is just so readily available you know if I leave myself open to um, whatever it is you know that I'm here for this experience you know tell me there's something here for me there's always something I have to walk out with the premise though that there's always something good for me in this no matter what it is even if I'm not feeling like it's great at the time you know <laughs> even if it feels like it sucks at the time there's something good in this for me this is really a matter of me deciding how I'm going to get over all of the mishmash and the blockage of how it isn't good for me um, which I do have to put you know reality in its place that if something hurts and you know or it has hurt and it's caused me pain then let's deal with that and then move past it so that we can get to the and what is very good for me in that you know um, search for that and that's on me you know there's not much that my angel team or my spirit team however other people identify it there's not much that anyone can do for me if my mind is locked up in some rigid stance that that's just stupid and this is awful there's nothing good about this you know there's definitely situations where there's very little that's very good about it and I strive to work in places that you know there's a lot great about this <laughs> however reality on earth is that sometimes uh, should be real you know and it's just not always pleasant um, and that's okay it's a matter of how do I deal with that and how can I ask the natural world and my spirit team to work with me to explain me you know get me in the realm of understanding this get me through a lucid ex dreaming experience get me through a dream get, get me somewhere doing something so that I can get clean with this and remain as open and clear as I possibly can that I don't jam up somewhere else unnecessarily there's, you know, plenty of places that have already been plugged up. I don't need to proactively keep plugging up anywhere. So I hope that's helpful for you in some way. And I hope you're enjoying your day no matter what part of the day you're in. And remember, get within your skin because you're divine. Oh, it is absolutely, absolutely so, so fine. Take care of your beautiful selves. And I'll see you again. Hondo and I will next time. Goodbye, friends. Mwah.